Hey everybody, welcome back to Plug Talk. My name is Adam22. I'm here joined by my lovely fiance, Lena the Plug. Hi everybody. And today we have the one and only Valentina Nappi here on the Orange Couch. It's a, a very big honor to have you here. Thank you. Um, it's a really good honor for me too, guys. Yeah, we're uh, we're very, very excited. Um, okay, so tell us a little bit just about where you're from in Italy and what your upbringing was like. So I'm from Pompeii and I've been doing... Porn? Yeah, of yeah. course. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Call it what it is, girl. You can say whatever you want. I've <laughs> uh, been doing porn for 12 years, so it'll be more than 12 years now. Okay. And that's been a dream for me since day one. And the other crazy thing is, after so many years, I'm not, I'm not tired. Like I love still shooting for companies. I love doing this type of stuff. And you do everything. I just heard you talking about a gangbang, anal, everything. But but he I wants you to go back to the Italy days, like in the beginning. Okay. <laughs> you just jumped right in. Just okay. a little bit. Just tell me a little bit about what your upbringing was like in Italy and how that might have uh, led you to even thinking what, about so getting into sex work. So upbringing? Sorry. Oh, like oh, what you, was your life like your growing up as yeah, a kid? When you were yeah. younger, yeah. Oh, well, I they, my parents tried to raise me Catholic, so I, I had to do porn, you know, to fix that. <laughs> Like my mom, she wanted me virgin till the marriage, that type of stuff. Right. And I'd never, like, I never understood why all the people around me were so obsessed with sex. Uh huh. You know, people say, oh, you do porn, you're obsessed with sex. No, no, I guess I get off. And after that, I don't think about sex all the time. Right. And when I repressed people, I feel like they talk about sex way more than we do in porn. You know, so I was like, why are. Why are humans so irrational towards sex? Mm. You know. It's... So even when you were young, you kind of felt that way. You thought it was sort of bizarre that your mom was obsessed with keeping you. Not just my mother, but the whole people around me, the whole society. Why even uh, my teenagers' friends? They will, when I was a teenager too, they will say, "Oh, you cannot do this because you're a girl," and then I just want to do the same things they will do like if i was dating three different guys in a week they they will say oh you're acting like a slut but if they will date three different girls in a week that will be you know okay for them this is interesting because i feel like here in america we have this idea that people are a lot more open-minded like in oh, europe no. than they are here but it sounds like very similar to the, the no, messages yeah. i heard the, growing the, up you the know? world is all, is all the same at the end of the day <laughs> and it's probably because it has to do a lot with human nature it's not just culture i feel like religion embrace and make it makes it bigger our like instincts like you know jealousy and slut shaming they're probably on our instincts because in the past it will have made perfectly sense like if i was born two centuries ago where there's no antibiotic no testing testing uh there's no control on how many babies you want to have i would probably be a nun <laughs> right but to be fair the reason why there is that double standard is because any guy who could get three girls to have sex with them in a week probably has something going for him because it's difficult to get women to have sex with you. Whereas every woman on earth could get three guys to have sex with her this week. But a very small percentage of men could. Yeah. yeah. So that kind of explains the whole double standard. It's not really a double standard because it's like men and women are fundamentally different. Anyway, to what bothers me is not just. <laughs> I was thinking that. I was like, okay. <laughs> uh, that's. Uh, I think, like you know, we should rethink our moral values on sex. Mm. And I wish we live in a world where everybody's having sex with everybody and getting laid is all right. Because mm. you know, sometimes. All right. Yeah. Listen, as we but what see, if you suck. What if you don't what deserve to get laid? What if no one wants to have sex with me? Then what happens to that right? Well, I mean, I mean, in this country you don't have free medical care, but I think it should be something similar. You know, have a bonus to, to go to prostitutes or mm. or something. So you think there should be like, or maybe a, um, you know, uh, maybe you can do a course to learn how to get laid. <laughs> but it's still not going to make it a right, you know, because it's. But I think that the like right... some sort of prostitution voucher is a pretty cool idea. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, yeah. We should start the list with vibrators and flashlights. Like, right. I think yeah. we can start from there. Like, you know, one vibrator for household. <laughs> Let me ask you something. This is just at the top of my mind. What if, if you, were you ever caught masturbating as a kid? No. Never? No. Okay. 
Were you? Do you have a story? Oh yeah, sure? plenty of times. No, I was just Hoss? wondering. I was just wondering, like, what you do. Like, what do you? Like... My mom still thought I was a virgin when I met my husband at nineteen, but mm. I already had like 10, 15 partners, I think. Okay. So were you like the town hoe, or, or did you have a reputation? No. Uh, it was weird because I was hanging out mostly with guys. Like my friends group were all guys, but I never had sex with any of them. And then I had dates or uh, fuck buddies. Uh, but you, so maybe you had that reputation just because you had guy friends, even though you I think I had the reputation more because I was saying it because they never, you know, saw me doing any of this stuff because it was away from um, my group of friends or mm. I never had dated someone in school, had sex with someone in school. So it's not like the people around me could see what I was doing. Mm. Okay. You know? I got you. So when did you start to think about entering the sex industry, the sex work world? When I was a teenager, it has always been like a fantasy. And then at the end of high school, I was studying art and the avant-garde movement. And I was just feeling like we we didn't like hit the the bottom of the maximum of things. But so many other arts have been explored so much. And in porn, there's still so much to do. And at the same time, I felt this urge of trying, yeah, to understand sexuality better and why people are so irrational towards sexuality. And also just have fun because I felt like all the people around me were sexually boring. Mm. So you just really wanted to have new experiences primarily? Yeah, but not just that. Like, I promised myself I'm going to do this, I'm going to do it right, and I'm going to try to show people another face of porn because, you know, there's certain stereotypes about these misses, and unfortunately some are based on true facts. Um, Were you uh, able to start doing porn in Italy? or? Oh, yeah. Okay. It's, there's there's it's, a whole industry out there? I would there? say it's more legal over there than out here mm -hmm. because in Italy, everything that is not illegal is legal. Okay. While here you have the common law, so there's like, you know, there's a line that you don't know what you can cross or not. Interesting. Uh, and there's no laws about porn, so... There's no laws about porn in no. Italy at all? No, so you can kind of do anything. It seems like there should be some laws. Yeah, definitely some. <laughs> so, um, don't bang a horse. That's rule number one. I mean, I feel like that's probably... Well, I mean, you're still going to not... have problem to, you know, share the type of footage. Zobelia mm. is illegal. So you can make the okay. horse porn, you just can't sell it. No, you cannot. It's, oh. not, it's not legal to have sex with animals in Italy. <laughs> it's not illegal? It, it's, it's not it, legal. It's not legal. Oh, it's not. Okay. not legal. Yeah. is not legal. No. Oh, okay. You guys are confusing the two. <laughs> <laughs> Adam's like talking about gross shit on here. No, I just, I, heard, I, I was just curious because I mean, I could very easily imagine a culture that didn't bother to make laws about not banging horses. That's not Italy. <laughs> it's yeah. not Italy. Okay. They're, they're advanced. <laughs> okay. So you're in Italy and what age do you start doing porn? Uh, 20. 20. And you had already met your husband at this time, but were you guys married yet? So, no, I've been married for two years, uh, but I've been together 13. Oh, wow. So okay. when I met him, I was trying to get into porn. I was webcamming mostly. And he was in support of that? Oh, yeah. I never had the boyfriend before him because I never tolerated jealousy. Mm. And I think jealousy should be illegal, too. <laughs> okay. Sex should be a right and jealousy should be illegal. I like, I like the worldview. Yeah. <laughs> because... Uh, you know, the majority, we, all, we, we hear people speak a lot about, um, violence on women and the majority of cases when women get beat up or killed or, or raped is because of jealousy. Mm. Like the guy is jealous. I mean, the girls are that too, but usually the guys are get, uh, tends to be more violent. So if we like prevent that, for instance, you know, if a guy decides to, uh, do something crazy, but it's not considered dangerous yet, but we keep an eye on those people. Maybe we can prevent some killing. Like, start to look at jealousy in a different way to make it more... Like, instead of shaming slut, let's shame jealousy. Mm, no, I, like, I you're that. jealous, you should be ashamed. Like, that's how it should be. Because I remember even when I was young in high school that I was jealous of, like, stuff like... Like, that my high school girlfriend had made out with this dude that I knew beforehand. And even as a young guy, I knew, like, you're gonna have to get over this because yeah the when older you're young you, it's like it seems so normal it's well, like encouraged the older you get the more sexual experience everybody's gonna be so it's yeah. like if you're gonna be horrified by that you're just gonna have to get over it at some point you know but is there like any ounce of jealousy you tolerate like at all just one 
I feel like there's always like a little bit of jealousy in a no. relationship, right? So you never get jealous of him either? It has to be like I will feel jealous if he's not uh taking care of my needs. Mm-hmm. Like if I make, he makes me feel lonely or stuff like that. But at that point being jealous doesn't even make sense because the whole relationship is based on taking care of each other. Mm. So there's just you know Okay. It's jealousy it's is not different. even the right feeling at that point. But to be fair, if you're a porn star in a relationship, I think that the things that are gonna trigger jealousy are a lot more overt than the average relationship. Yeah. Because if you're a porn star, you might come home from work with a little bit of cum in your hair. And if you're the porn star's boyfriend, you're just gonna have to suck it up, right? Not literally suck it up, but you're gonna have to just <laughs> deal with it. Well, my husband never showed me any sign of jealousy in in that sense, like there's no, I think it's once a dude, he's really secure of himself, has no competition with the other dudes. Right. Like as long, you know, he gets his piece of the cake. So.